Hey, what's up, Stripe Nation? Blake Alberts here with B&B Lawn Care. This, oh, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, what in the world is that? <laughs> this is a little bag that I, I keep in my truck when I'm out working. Well, really just any time in the winter time. Um, I, like as I've been doing snow removal and stuff last week, I'm preparing now for snow this weekend. They never know, it's like four to eight inches or something like that. I messed up my knee, I've been really like taking care of it, icing it. Um, I have like a uh, like a knee brace on it or something right now. Uh, it's killing me, dude. I, I, that, I, I think I ended up doing like 27 driveways. Um, and dude, it just, it killed my knees, dude. Uh, I'm just, I've just been really sore, but I hope I did not do anything to my knee. Um, this week, but today I'm kind of preparing my trucks and everything, or my truck, and just making sure I have everything that I need. Uh, I was a little bit underprepared last week. Uh, I didn't realize how big of a, we haven't had that much snow in a very long time, like literally three, four years, um, we haven't had that much snow. Um, I got a lot of water, well, a lot of snow that turned into water in my boots. Um, and I, I came underprepared, man. I didn't have enough socks. Um, so I had to do some driveways with just wet feet, which is not fun or smart um, when it's you know below 30 out and there's snow on the ground. But this is a little bag, call it what you want, but I saw some guys on YouTube that I kind of got some ideas from and just stuff that I always have in my truck, but not dedicated to one bag. So I built this bag and I just wanted to tell you guys what was in it. So at first, I got this bag on Amazon. Like, I, I'll try to link it, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool looking little bag. I'm sure a lot of you guys will like it. This, I'm not even gonna start with that. that it's a touchy subject, you guys know, here in the world. So to start off, let's start simple. Uh, make sure you have good windshield wipers on your truck. Make sure you have like the defrost stuff that sprays. You just need that. I mean, when you're out plowing and stuff, or not plowing, but just out in the snow. I don't plow, I use a snow blower and shovels and stuff, uh, doing residential. Um, and then just like simple stuff, like make sure the tires are all good, make sure your oil's changed, just make sure the truck is up, ready to go, it's running correctly. That's as simple, that's, that's what you need to do. Just make sure that you're trying to prevent problems. Um, Another thing that a lot of people don't think about is food and water. When you're out working, one, you just get hungry, you get dehydrated. Um, just have food and water in the truck, protein bars, water bottles, um, whatever. And I, I keep a couple in this bag. Uh, I got pretzels and like water and, and protein bars and stuff. Uh, dude, I love this stuff. You guys know I'm a vitamin water guy, I love this. Um, so stuff like that, keeping extra pairs of gloves, extra pairs of hats, extra socks, and extra boots, guys. That is my number one problem that I had last week. Uh, dude, I just was underprepared, man. So just keep this stuff in here. Even if you're not out working and you get in an accident or something, it's always good to have this stuff extra. This should always be, you know, you're running a business, you should always have like a first aid kit um, in your trucks. Like I think like legally and just, you just need it in case something happens, man. Um, let's see what else here. Guys, this is called a, I'm pretty sure it's a tow dog. Yeah, tow dog. It hooks up to your hitch and the other side, it's just, it's a tow strap, man, that hooks up to your truck. Uh, in case you get stuck or you need to help somebody out. Uh, I saw so many people getting stuck last weekend and I was underprepared, I did not have that. Uh, and, and there's ton, I mean, you can go to Harbor Freight and get like a tow strap for probably 20 bucks, 15, 20 bucks. Uh, it's always just good to have. Even in the summertime, you guys have seen the videos, I get mowers stuck. Just good to have these things around so you can get out of a very difficult a bad situation because uh, we all know that it happens even though you're wearing a jacket out working 
it's always good, one if it gets wet, one if you forget it, to just have a jacket in the truck, in your bag, just ready to go if you ever need it. You guys know I love this. I've had this for probably three years. This is a Milwaukee, and I think they've updated this like a few times since I got this. But yes, there it's a little bit of investment, but dude, I wear this like all the time, and there's no rips, no nothing. This is the Milwaukee heated jacket. You just hold this button, and she turns on, man. Can you see that? And it just keeps like your chest warm, you know? Uh, so you don't die out there, man. But it's pretty cool. Battery, Battery's pretty good. Uh, and I really, really like this jacket. It's 2019. You can call for help, man. So it's always good to just have a phone charger. Uh, and then like something like this, this kind of all goes into it. Um, you can buy these little things off of Amazon, tire inflator, you can get things like this. This is called a do. They actually sent me this and literally what it is, look how tiny this is. This jump starts your truck. So if your battery dies, it comes with jumper cables on that thing. You just hook them up and this little thing can start your truck, but it also has USB. Uh, so make sure you have a phone charger. Make sure you have this thing charged up so you can jump start a truck. You can jump or, or you can charge your phone if you ever need it. That way you can call for help or call anyone. If your phone dies, you have communication and something to charge it with. Uh, so 2019, if you do get an accident, you can call for help. Or if you're working and you just need your phone charged, it's always good to have something like this. This is called a do. Uh, I haven't used it yet. I just received it. Um, but I guess I'll have to try it. If my truck dies, I'll just see if this works. All right, the last couple things in my little bag that everybody's going to want to see. Dude, always keep like a little flashlight because we work at night, things like that. And then this is just, I showed it, so I have to show you guys because I'm gonna get so many questions so um, you know when you're out in public like I say I, I don't really talk about politics or any touchy subjects so I'm not even gonna go to the gun subject but I do keep this little less than lethal man unless you taste somebody when they're in a pool or they have like a heart condition you're not gonna kill them but dude this is like an actual like taser where it like shoots the prongs out and bleh, shocks people. Uh, I just keep it. I just keep it in there for uh, whatever reason, man. Whatever happens, it's always good, man, to just be prepared and keep a little taser action in there. You can keep a gun, you can keep whatever you want. Mace, uh, oh, it's always good to have like a pocket knife. I need to put that in there. Have like a pocket knife. You. You never know when you need to cut something or, uh, you know, have a little thing of tools if you need to work on the equipment. Normally I keep a, a little tool bag in the in the bed of my truck. Uh, so like snow blower, if you need to adjust the little skids, uh, if you need to tweak something, uh, things like that. So guys, that's pretty much my little tour of my bag here. Just anything you can think of to be prepared. You know, if your tire goes flat, have a little tire inflator. Doesn't need to be a big fancy tank. Uh, in the summertime, I do keep like an air compressor, like uh, one with a tank and stuff. But I just don't have that much room here um, in the winter time. So um, it's always good, man. So customize your bag. Go look on YouTube at some videos. There's so many awesome videos out there with uh, some good topics, but. I'm not really looking for like a survivalist bag, but it's more like just a bag that keeps everything and I kind of will adjust it for seasons. But gloves, food, water, just things that will help you if you get wet, if your, you know, your socks, your boots get wet, things like that, your hands get wet, your hat gets wet. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of a different video, but I enjoyed watching them, so I just wanted to put in my two cents and show you guys what my bag looks like. That's it, guys. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Stay safe. Peace.